April 4th, 1988. The residents of Henderson, Nevada often find themselves able to eavesdrop on other people's phone calls during large thunderstorms. Tonight's storm is no different, and the unknowing Daryl Granger just picked up a call the public was not supposed to hear. A call that will change his life forever. Johnson, this is Agent Miller. Satellite's picked up near about 40 miles north of Oakland, Nevada. Did you get the secondary confirmation? Confirmed. We need a move. Affirmative. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both equally terrifying. As we gaze to the cosmos every evening, we often wonder, are we alone? Hi, I'm Daryl Granger. I'm here to tell you, we are definitely not alone. I, I saw it, it by my tractor. And uh, I saw a flash and then a beam of light on my field. Oh, so you saw that, then what, what, what transpired afterwards? Please be as vivid as possible. Um, and then I saw, well, I went onto my field and I saw that all my crops were burnt to a crisp. The beam, it left some like weird markings and... The Wolferton brothers down there said that they were called uh, crop circles. Yeah, no, crop circles. It's a, it's a form of navigation. That's... Huh? Can we can we go to your field? Is that possible? I suppose. Thank you. You are so eloquent, by the way. I uh, think. My name is Jedediah Fisher, and I'm from the great Elmwood, Nevada. Okay, uh, Mr. Fisher, you claim to have encountered an extraterrestrial. Could you in great detail please explain that encounter? That was uh, 1979. I was in Johnny Max watching a Thursday night football game. The Raiders were killing the Chargers. What a game. A man, uh, like any regular Joe Small, sits down beside me at the bar. And uh, this guy was kind of strange because he ordered a water and uh, was just really quiet, keeping to himself. So uh, uh, the game was really good, so I thought, uh, maybe this guy's a Chargers fan. So I strike up a conversation with him, and uh, he's just keeping it short and not saying much. And Finally, when he turns around and looks me in the eyes, I looked in his eyes, and I tell you, there was no light in those eyes. And uh, he, he says to me, and I'll never forget it, he says, I'm from the Zeta Reticuli star system, and I'm here on a special reconnaissance mission. A, wait, a, a, a mission? A mission for what? To see if it's clear for an invasion. <sighs> but thank you, Mr. Fisher. <laughs> it's incredible. Hey, um, if you could state your name for the camera. River. And forget forget that that's there, just right here, okay? River, if you could try to remember and explain what happened. Um, I don't remember much. Uh... Sometimes when I'm dreaming, I get a glimpse of something, like my past. But nothing that I can actually hold on to. You okay? Sorry. No, please, please, don't, Sorry. don't apologize. Take your time. Ugh. Um, I remember the sounds 
of birds. I remember the sound of waves. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. You're doing great. Daryl, River, and Kevin eagerly pack up their car and head out for the arduous 50-mile drive to find ex-Area 51 astrophysicist Eric Newbert. Will they find him hidden in the depths of the desert? Or will their journey end as quickly as it began? Rolling me down the highway Rolling me down the highway Moving ahead so life won't pass me by he's here? Uh, I mean, it's a long shot, but I'd hate to come all this way and not at least see if someone's here. Get the camera ready. Got it.
Hey, Daryl? I think someone's staying here. Who are you? Uh, someone who just shit their pants? Mr. Newbert, Mr. Newbert, please. Let, let me just ask you a couple quick questions, okay? We, we're trying to uncover the truth here. Uh, why'd you leave the test site? The truth? Give me a break. Come on, please. Let me just a couple you questions. You found me. They know where I'm at. You don't know that. Get out of the camera, please. I say! If Daryl would only stop his incessant whining, then he'd see that River was able to sneak away with something that will not only impact his film, but begin their journey into uncovering the truth about extraterrestrial life on Earth. No. Oh, you beautiful <laughs> woman, are you serious? Me, uh, did I miss something? Yeah, you, you missed something. Get in the car. This is amazing. I love you. I love you so much. We're going to Baskin Robbins. <laughs> Come on.